Hello there and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review here on the Master Moldy channel. Last week we reviewed... What did we review last week? I can't remember what we reviewed now. We reviewed the old Sarlacc set just behind me and I actually in the same video showed off all the improvements I've made to it. I'm not sure if you can see it. But I added some minifigures, heightened the Sarlacc using pieces from the actual set. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. It's much better than the new one. But LEGO are also releasing a twin pack of an X-Wing and TIE Fighter. So over the next few weeks, we're going to take a look at some of the old X-Wing and TIE Fighters I have. Because this one in particular is so recent and it might actually be the best X-Wing that LEGO have ever made. But we'll get into the in-depth review in just a second. A bit of background on this set, it came out the 1st of January 2021, three and a half years ago now, and I think it retired at the end of last year. Though, depending on where you are in the world, you probably can still find this in quite a few stores. I know a few of my local stores still have it. It might be a bit hard for you to pick up, but if you're willing to go out and look, you can probably still pick this up for retail price, which might actually be better than it sounds. As of now, you can pick up a brand new one on Bricklink, starting at only £38, which considering the set retailed for £45, which is $50 or euros for anyone in the States or mainland Europe, that is quite a good deal. Now, at retail, it was about 10 pence, 10 cents per piece, but we will get to weighing it in just a second because, you know, price per piece count really does mean nothing. It's the weight that you really got to be looking at. You know what? I think we're actually going to get straight to the weighing because I have the whole set here with my custom minifigures, though the parts that I switch over are the exact same size as the others. And if we first turn on the scales, that would be very good. It seems that it's got a low battery, so we best make this quick like the X-Wing and the two minifigures we can see that it's 382 grams. And once we've had that to our table, you can see it's actually the cheapest set along with the Desert Skiff Escape, 12 pence per gram. That is a still compared to all these new sets, 20, 20, 30, 30, 20, 20. Sets used to be so much better priced and there's definitely inflation at play here as well as the fact that the rest of these are all battle packs. So perhaps we need to look at a few of the older battle packs. I'm tempted to rebuild the original 501st battle pack to take a look at that. But there's definitely a correlation here between the price of sets and the type of set. For instance, the battle packs, they come with clone heavy builds. There's not really much builds to most of these. In fact, the most expensive battle pack we've got on the shelves at the minute has a speeder reference in the first bulk speeder Lego ever built, which no one's really keeping on their shelf, are they? Perhaps one of them, but not an army of them. And then we've got a Tridroid, an STAP. There's no actual location to it. I'd love to get a little base. I guess we get the little barricade with the shields. Can that be classed as a location in Star Wars? And I've just realized I've still got my bean in. I'd love to see some sort of, even if it's just a hallway with some rocks like the Mandalore ambush, we need some of that for some of these iconic Clone Wars locations. But let's go back to the X-Wing before I get too distracted. Because when I say 12 pence per gram is a steal for this set, I don't just mean it because it's cheap Lego. I mean it because of how good the Lego actually is. First off, we'll get to the minifigure upgrade, starting off with the one you will probably know already. Everyone's talking about it, the UTS Luke. You can take your Luke straight from this set and take the arms and legs off the five pound key ring and you've got yourself a UTS Luke. If you want to know exactly how it's done, I do have a video up on the channel. But Dadana, I also changed. I'd say how much Lego likes the Kenobi face. I seem to be using it for every minifigure recently. Jedi Bob, George Lucas, and now General Dodana. It's a much cheery face than he is given for this set. And I get he's a rebel leader. He's not exactly cheery in A New Hope. He smiles a few times throughout Rebels, mind you. I just think he should have been given a more smiley face than a serious and angry face for the set. But nonetheless, the Dodana and Leia minifigures are really, really cool, but they don't fit inside the X-Wing. So I'll put them aside for the minute because the X-Wing build is really, really cool. And I'll get it out of the way 
The reason why this set beats the brand new Rebuild the Galaxy, more like Refund the Galaxy, is purely because of this wing mechanism here. They're actual X-Wings. Now, this isn't a complaint to LEGO's new set necessarily because obviously they had to do it differently to get around a few things. But the wings on the new ones, because they connect at the sides, they arch at the side. So rather than being a proper X shape, they're more like greater than dash less than. If if that makes sense, I'll put a depiction on screen so you can see the difference between the two. But a problem with this X wing, that is an awesome shot, is the wings don't stay open when it's landing. This was done purposefully. I hope it was done purposefully because when an X wing is landing, its wings are meant to close up. So it saves you having to do it by hand when it's flying around in space. The S foils are going to be in attack position. By the way, I think they're called S foils and do correct me in the comments because they look like S's from the side. And if so, that is a really, really neat reference. But you can see it's flying in attack position, very swooshable model, and then it goes to land. And the landing feet on each of the wings actually close the wings for you. I'm pretty sure there's meant to be landing gear here. I don't know where my landing gear has gone. And here, I don't know what I've done with the landing gear. That is not good. But there is landing gear here that closes it. You can take the landing gear off. If you like a more clean look, I had no idea I did that. But what I do to display my X-Wing is I have this display. I think these are parts of, of the friend sets that I built into my city made a modular. But you can also get these in the Hulk mech. They're quite common pieces recently. I feel like they were quite hard to get your hands on a while back. But there are so many similar pieces. And then connecting that, you can see it lines up to the plate on the bottom of the X-Wing and once that's insecure you can display the X-Foils in attack position and I think this is a really really clean look for the X-Wing and I also think it's worth mentioning UCS Luke makes this look so much better because of the detail on the minifigure it isn't necessarily needed on the X-Wing and you can also upgrade your R2-D2 to the one with back printing as well which has become quite common which would look really really cool from behind rather than just the white back and i've seen a few different people modifying this to get r2 sitting a bit lower you can even just take the plates that r2 is sitting on and the tiles out and make him sit a bit lower but i don't feel like it's that much of a problem because he doesn't stick out too far from the engines it's not the most accurate i will agree and this x-wing is pretty much one to 45 minifigure scale anyway. But I think the biggest grab of this X-Wing over the recent one is the fact that the wings actually look like they, well, they are a massive X when displayed front on. I really like the design of it. There's a few stickers dotted around. We have two here on the wing, three if you include the one on the engine, four on that hand side. Same on the other side. So we've already got eight stickers, none on the underside, which is really, really cool. But then we have a ninth here on the cockpit. And I believe there's a few on the back. We've got another three stickers on the back, 12 stickers. They definitely could have gotten around that using a few different colored tiles here. We've seen the five stripes represented by a few different pieces over the years, mostly stickers still, but I still think we need a opposite ways grill let me get that piece so we need something like this that goes in the opposite direction because if they had the grill lines five of them in the opposite direction it would just work for red five they make enough x wings to justify this piece if they're making a brand new piece for the ford anglia from harry potter we definitely need a brand new piece for that red five signet they don't really make any other x wings and it just save another sticker really and it's a piece that can be used in so many other places but let me know what you thought of the x-wing did you pick it up when it was released are you looking to pick it up now that it's just retired or perhaps you're even looking at parting it out because you can get most of the characters elsewhere including dodana who is actually in the brand new yavin temple which i'm seeing quite a few sales already you can pick it up for about 90 pound Will that drop even further towards the end of this year? And if that does drop any further, I'll be so tempted to pick it up. The only minifigure I really want from the set 
is the Serra Mini Leia because it's a minifigure I don't own yet. As well as the Ewok Village minifigure from Endor. But an X-Wing Starfighter isn't complete without a TIE Fighter. So next week we will be taking a look at what I think is the very best TIE Fighter. And I know there's a few that people whack up there. And then we'll also be looking at my other TIE Fighters as well over the next few weeks. So stay tuned, drop a like if you are enjoying these reviews. I aim to have a review out every week to cover some of the older sets that you might not have seen me review here on the channel because the channel didn't exist when I got them. So I hope you're enjoying all of the reviews every week on a Sunday. Don't miss out. Be sure to drop a like if you do want to see more and subscribe so that you can watch them reviews as they come out and all the other videos on this channel. Check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.